Hi, it's Paddy Hirsch at Marketplace. So if you have a surplus of something, it usually means you've got an excess. If you've got a deficit, it means you don't have enough. Now I'd like to introduce you to John. Right, John is a furniture maker, and every year he sells $50,000 worth of his furniture. Unfortunately, he spends a little more than that. He spends $60,000 a year on things like clothes and food and heating oil and all those other things. Now, if John was a country, you'd say he was running a trade deficit because he is importing goods worth $10,000 more than what he exports, right? which means he has a $10,000 shortfall. So he's running a $10,000 deficit. Now, if you're a household or an individual, running a deficit for a long period can be a bit of a problem. But if you're a country, it doesn't seem to be an issue at all. I mean, look at the United States. We have been importing goods worth more than we've been exporting since 1991. But a lot of people say that running a trade deficit isn't necessarily a bad thing. One thing it could mean is that there's high demand from consumers in your economy, and that can be a sign of growth. Another sign, it could be that you're just reconfiguring your economy from producing things like furniture to actually providing services like banking or tourism. But whether you're a household or an economy, the one thing you don't want to do is to make the mistake of dealing with one D, the deficit, with too much of another type of D, debt. All right, a little bit of borrowing is fine, right? You don't borrow a little bit, it's all right, no problems, nobody has to worry too much about it as long as you're making those interest payments. But too much debt can drown you and leave you very badly, like our friend John here, needing a drink.